If there's one thing that travelers taught me, it's that experiences are much more valuable than physical things. A few years ago, a palliative nurse recorded the regrets of the dying, and these are three of the most common ones she heard. I wish I had the courage to live a life true to myself, not the life others expected of me. I wish I hadn't worked so hard. And I wish I'd had the courage to express my feelings. Now each of those is a whole video by itself, but notice that none of them talked about having more things or a bigger house. Fortunately for me, I learned that early in life, but it wasn't always this way. When I was growing up, I spent most of my time outside of school playing video games and watching YouTube videos about people going to exotic locations and doing cool things. I always wanted to do those things, but I knew I couldn't. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to study and I was miserable at work before I finally cut the cord and bought that first plane ticket. And I'm so happy I did. Before traveling, I spend my money on things. The newest phone, new video games, or a better computer. But when you're on the road, your space is limited to a backpack of about 20 kilos, which forces you to make choices. When you don't regularly have access to something, you appreciate it more. After literally living in the dirt at a volunteer project in Thailand for a few weeks, you realize just how nice a hot shower actually is. A once a week instant coffee tastes much better than a daily Starbucks, and spending your money on a tour to a coffee plantation in Mexico is much more attractive than buying the next new thing. When you're on the road, you meet people that were raised differently. The developed world lives much more in the future than in the present. We worry about what might happen or what could be, rather than what is. You witness those of the developing world being much happier than the people at home, despite having much less. When you realize you won't see most people again after today, you begin to open up more in conversations, because you might as well. Over time, you start to value experiences and people, and the value of material things plummets. You realize things don't matter as much as society makes you think. Hiking in Utah last year, I knew in the back of my mind that I had a brand new phone waiting for me at home, but it just didn't feel very important at the moment. I was completely immersed in the natural world around me, and I was happy. Sure, when I got back to the city, that phone was on my mind immediately, but right now, a few months later, this phone is just a phone, whereas I'll treasure the experiences in the desert for a lifetime. The point I'm trying to make is that travelers taught me something at the age of 26, that octogenarians on their deathbed wish they knew when they had the chance to stop wasting your time on something that doesn't matter. Stop wasting your time worrying about work, money, material possessions, and start living life for something that really matters to you. If you've always wanted to see the world, go out there. Let this be your sign to go and do it. In the sense day and age, you don't even have to give up your work in order to do so. So go, do it. It's not too late.